I find it so amazing that um, I always used to think, okay, the new year, I need to make these resolutions. You say resolutions, huh? Yeah. Okay. I think we say wishes in German, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, resolutions, and um, I had all these ideas about how to improve, and next year all will be better, I will feel better, and you know, all ideas about that, and um, I had all a list of how I can improve myself, and it never really worked. You know, I had all these ideas and went into the new years with also energy of that, but it, like, I, I just couldn't do it. It was so much effort to keep something in place or try to be someone, the perfect person with the perfect, um, yeah, um, yeah, perfect conduct, perfect speech, you know, whatever I, I, I wanted to, um, to improve myself and, 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 after coming to this training, all that just fell away completely. That whole self-improvement project just fell away naturally. Just recognizing the perfection within myself. That was the first thing I heard, or one of the first things when I came to an open meeting, you are perfect as you are. And I was like, wow, it feels so good. And I just, just wanted to hear more of that because Somehow I knew we are all somehow perfect, but I wanted to just, yeah, I wanted to get to know myself as that perfection. And I didn't know that it was possible. And just hearing that, kind of sharing that, just allowed me to just to relax completely and to be introduced to something about me that I can always rely on, that is complete perfection at all times, no matter what I think about myself or think about others, to really know that something about me is always perfect, always present, always stable. And that we call open intelligence in the Balanced View Training. And we can introduce ourselves to open intelligence by just stopping thinking for a moment. So if you've been here for the first time, we can, um, we can all do it. I just love all do, also doing it always. Just stopping thinking for a moment and recognizing what remains. There's something about us always present, cognizance alert that remains. And then the next thought comes into our mind stream and then then we see that that, that stability, that that presence never gone anywhere. So we don't need to try to prolong a thought of uh, not thinking. We see that also thoughts are inseparable from open intelligence. So we just do that in the introduction, recognizing that that something about us always present, always on, that goes unnoticed when we are getting lost in our thoughts, when we just focus in on the thoughts or emotions and sensations that we can also call data streams. Just all data streams that are rising naturally in our everyday life are inseparable from open intelligence. And what we do in the Balance You training, we do in a simple practice with short moments, recognizing open intelligence within every experience, every um, appearance that comes up. Recognizing open intelligence right there, by relaxing body and mind completely for a short moment. So that's actually really the simple practice that we are introduced to, that we can do wherever we are, whatever we are involved in, in our daily life, no matter what background we are in, uh, coming from, and that I found really amazing, that we can come together from all kinds of different countries, different religions, different practices or different preferences or whatever our passion is, we can all come together and, and take short moments recognizing open intelligence. There's no need of a certain set of data streams or a certain circumstance to need to be in place for us to recognize open intelligence and take a short moment. So we can test that out in our everyday life. Whatever we are doing, we just relax body and mind completely for a short moment. And these short moments just naturally grow longer and longer and become automatic. More and more we bring open intelligence in the foreground of all our, um, of our perception, rather than the description of the data stream, rather of all our emotions, sensation and experience. I always try to keep all my thoughts and emotions in place. I try to have good thoughts, good emotions. 
but it never really worked that I only had good emotions and good thoughts. Suddenly a negative thought came in and I'm like, oh, where does this come from? Didn't I have the resolution this year just to have positive thoughts? And then boom, just right after 12, the first negative thought came in. <laughs> where came that from? You know, like just right away. And, and so we, it's so unpredictable, the data streams. They just come, we cannot hold them in place. And that's a big relief. We, we, we don't need to take responsibility about what data streams come up in our, our life. But where we can take responsibility is how we want to relate to these data streams. Do we want to indulge them or avoid them or trying to replace them with good thoughts? And then we are always just in that hamster wheel of trying to rearrange and trying to get better, worse. Uh, no, not worse data. We don't never want worse data. Do we? <laughs> We always want better ones. But, um, yeah, constantly trying to change ourselves. And, but now we are introduced to a different way of, of, of dealing with our data, by letting them just completely be as they are. Nothing needs to change about our experience. Nothing needs to change with our data streams. They don't play that um, main role anymore in our life. So they can do whatever they want to do. But we see clearly, through the vow of open intelligence, how we want to relate, how we want to use our speech. It's so powerful. It's not, not dictated by our data streams anymore, but from open intelligence. Open intelligence, it's always clear, always beneficial, always aligned with what is of most benefit to all. Not limited by just a small perception of our data streams. When we, when we act from our data streams, we are just very limited. It's just that's what we see. Like, for example, rejection comes up. When we act out of that rejection, that's what we see. We put the glasses of rejection up and then we just see it everywhere. Isn't it like that? <laughs> Suddenly, even the dog rejects us then. <laughs> you know, like, he just walks off. Or, you know, you can just see it everywhere. <laughs> it's like... And then you can make stories around it and like, oh my God, you know, we get fully washed away with that. But when we allow it to be as it is, we just see completely that, that there's nothing to do with that rejection. It's just our power, just completely ener energy that is coming up, allowing it to be as it is. Then we have a choice. Then we have a choice to remain open in the midst of feeling rejected. We don't lose the connection to the dog or to the person that we feel rejected. Even if it's really strong, we remain open, we can function, we can relate what is needed in that relationship, maybe in work relationships. We're just very clear. It's not like, oh, now I feel rejected, now I, I just shut down and I cannot work in that, with that person anymore. No, it's just completely openness. And, and, and that's what I could see more and more in coming to this training and being with the community, that I don't need to shut down anymore. And that is such a relief. That was also my first reaction when I felt it, usually shutting down, retrieving, not, you know, like... And now it's just like, it's just coming up. It doesn't stand in between anything anymore. And that's just a big relief. And it just allows me to be skillful also, completely. It's just seeing it's just the beneficial energy of open intelligence. Just we label this it as something like rejection or whatever it is that comes up. But we, when we remain open, we take these glasses off and we can see completely clear in that moment. And that applies to every data stream. So we are not ruled anymore by any data. And ev but everything still can come up. And that's the great thing. It's not like that we are suddenly in a um, space of we don't feel anything anymore or yeah, like a numb void or anything. No, everything. It's the dynamic energy of open intelligence. Every experience a human being can experience is just perfect as it is. And we can just allow ourselves to get more and more um, familiar with that familiar with that we can just experience the entire human experience as it is, that nothing is unique to ourselves, nothing needs to be fixed, nothing needs to be changed completely. And of course also making New Year's resolutions also included, so it's not like we shouldn't make any more, not like that, but I feel like there's no need anymore to, or 
Yeah, it's not any more that strict an effort in that. It's more like open. I mean, I don't do it anymore, but I mean, I could see that there's just like an openness to, to it and also the power to implement changes. That's what I see in my experience. That not only is there like clear seeing if I need to change something in my life and feeling like, oh, I need to do it, but no, it's the power to see solutions, how I can actually do it and also implement it. If it's aligned with the benefit of all. Aligned with the benefit of all, we have so much power to just really going for everything. There's no limits in our experience and that's amazing to see. More and more and really get more and more comfortable with our own power in that.